Hi, I'm Carrie. I'm the owner of CrossFit Moy Rai in Chestermere, Alberta. So uh, now I think that you got um, nine new members we, we just saw. So it was, uh, I think, in less than a month. So yeah, and for, for a gym of our size and kind of our class capacity, that's huge. Like 10 new members a month is a great manageable number of people to bring on um like we've talked about we just turned down our ad spend from 15 dollars a day on both ads to five dollars a day on both ads um yeah. one, because i don't have time to keep up with the leads i need to get back to my other work before i can take on more one-on-ones um but also because all of our january programs filled up so um when you first contacted us you were speaking with my husband and he was managing kind of the the relationship and understanding kind of what our working relationship would work would look like and then um he got busy with his other job so i took over and i just kind of assumed that you were a lead generation business and that's kind of what you were providing to us and so i didn't understand that you would be um consulting for us on how to build our ads how to um run some programs how to um, manage these one-on-one -on -one intake appointments and how to kind of manage the sales process. Um, so I didn't really understand what we were getting from you. Um, and then kind of after we had a lot of conversations about what your work would look like and what was expected from us and what we could expect from you, um, I learned that we were getting something way, way more valuable than just lead generation. We were getting sales and marketing consultation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, done for you scheduling as well, right? And scheduling too, yeah, and I think that's probably the biggest piece. So we finally kind of agreed on and cleaned up our our offer and our ad just before Christmas. So we turned on this campaign like three days before Christmas. Um, and I remember sitting there at home with my two little kids, my baby and toddler, getting notifications on my phone saying, this lead just came in and oh look, they just booked an appointment. You don't have to do anything. And it was really nice to be able to sit there at Christmas with my kids and not have to jump up and get to the phone to call someone to make an appointment. But that was already done for me. All I had to do was show up at the scheduled times and, uh, and run the consultations from there. Yep. And uh, yeah, the, the, the only part that you have to handle, the only thing left is to uh, make the sale. Uh, are we helping you uh, with that also, you know, uh, with the strategies and how do you make the sale? Yeah, totally. So, um, the whole time that we've owned the gym and then in my old professional life before we opened the gym, um, I always said, I'm not a salesperson. I'm a terrible salesperson. If somebody wants to do something, they are a grown up. They are going to make the choice to do it. And I have no influence on that. And mm -hmm. what I've learned um, from you and through your sales training and through this whole process that that's not at all the case. Um, I really, really believe in what we offer here. Obviously, we wouldn't have opened this gym if I didn't believe in the value of our fitness program. Um, but learning how to present that to people and to meet their, meet their needs and to explain to them how we'll meet their needs and how to respond to their, um, just respond to their objections and things like that. It's been more of a sales training process than I expected it to be.